एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम welcome back to the second part of the video so in first part we have learned how to evaluate the line integral of a scalar valued function welcome to is chand academy myself dr neelam for more details please refer to the book from is chand publishing details are given on this side and link is given in the description box so in this part of the video we will learn how to evaluate line integral of a vector valued function so line integral for a vector valued function since we are taking a vector valued function therefore we need to take that let us say that this f is given as f is given as f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k where all are vectors and where f the the uh, component of f in i j and k directions are f1 f2 f3 all f f1 f2 f3 they are functions they may be functions of x y and z so we will find out the linear uh, line integral of this vector valued function so that will be represented as c f and since it is a vector valued function so we will take the dot product with this ds and here also we need to uh, make it clear that here this is the curve c for which we need to over which we need to find out this integral for this f now this f is a since it is a scalar valued function so we need to uh, this dot is to be taken very seriously so the coordinates for uh, this the the for the evaluation of this line integral of a vector valued function there are two methods to uh, calculate this so let us say that the position vector r is xi plus yj plus zk therefore dx can be written ds can be written as dxi plus dyj plus dzk therefore in this f dot ds can be written as the dot product and we will take the component of f in all three directions that is f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k with this position vector that is dx i dy j plus dz k so we are taking the dot product so it becomes the integration over c so f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz so this becomes the integration so this is one way of calculating this line integral of a vector valued function now another way is to evaluate this using the parametric form which we have used in the scalar valued function also so to evaluate using this uh, parametric form so let us say that we need to find out this c dot over integration over c of f dot dx now for this the parametric form needs to be written first of all so this uh, ds was written as dxi plus dyj plus dzk now this will be and uh, so this will be uh, written, this dx dy dz they will be written in terms of t so the function f in all three directions i j and k they will be written in terms of t so this is we can see that it is f1 i plus f2 j over the c plus f3 k and dot this one dxi plus dyj plus dzk 
Now, when we will convert into the parametric form, so this will be written as, now let us say, we, uh, let us say that the parameter is t. So, after the dot product, already we have seen that it becomes f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz. So, if they will be converted into a parametric form, so let us say that the parameter is t which and the lower limit and upper limit of t is a to b. So, we can write here that t is from a to b which will be our parameter in which the integrand has been converted. So, this is t is varying from a to b. So, this becomes f1 dx by dt plus f2 dy by dt plus f3 dz by dt and the integration will be taken with respect to t. So, using chain rule it can be written in this form that is f1 f2 f3 that dx by dt dy by dt dz by dt and integration will be carried forward with respect to the parameter t where the lower limit and upper limit of t has already been given as from a to b. So, that is how uh, if it is given in terms of x, y, z then also we can evaluate this and the second way is that we can use this uh, parametric form to calculate this line integral of a vector valued function. So, we will make this thing clear more clear using a uh, a question. So, we will take one question for this uh, line integral of a vector valued function. Now, let us say that the question is already given in this form that is y dx plus x plus y dy plus dz plus dz. So, this is given as our integrand where c is given as t 1 minus t and 1 and where t is varying from 0 to 1. So, if we uh, we are uh, asked to find out this uh, integration. Now, if we compare it using the form c of f dot ds, then f dot ds. So, this was c f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz. So, if we compare the given question with this form, we are clear that f1 is given as y, f2 is given as x plus y and f3 is given as 1 because the coefficient of dz is 1. So, here f1, f2, f3 all three components have been given. So, the parametric form is already given to us that is c equals to t 1 minus t and 1 and the lower limit and upper limit for t is already given as 0 to 1. So, we need to convert this integrand in terms of this parameter t. So, uh, this f1 can be rewritten as, so the component of y is 1 minus t here. So, it becomes 1 minus t. f2 is x plus y, so it is t plus 1 minus t, so it becomes 1 and f3 becomes 1 only. So, this will be our, this will be forming our integrand f1 plus f2 plus f3. Now, dx will be equal to dt, so here then dy will be equal to dy will be equal to minus dt and dz will be equals to 0. So, dx by dt, dy by dt and dz by dt can also be written in this way. So, this uh, therefore, the c y dx plus x plus y dy plus dz can be written as the limits for t has been written as from 0 to 1. So, the integrand will be written in terms of f1 dx by dt. So, f1 is 1 minus t, f1 is 1 minus t into dx by dt that is 1. So, it is 1 into 1 plus f2 dy by dt. So, dy by dt we can see it is minus 1. So, it is 1 into minus 1 
plus f3 f3 is 1 into dz by dt so that is 0 so it becomes 0 and the integration with respect to t so that's how the integrand becomes 0 to 1 1 minus t minus 1 dt so this gets converted to 0 to 1 minus t dt and the integration can be taken with respect to minus 1 by 2t square so it is 0 to 1 so the answer is minus 1 by 2 so that's how the integration will be taken place so in this part of the video we have learned the line integral of a vector valued function so a vector valued function can be integrated as uh, integration over c f dot ds and we have studied two forms that is f1 dx plus f2 uh, dy plus f3 dz where f1 f2 f3 are the components of the vector valued function f in i j and k directions and which are the functions of x y and z then we have uh, learned that how to uh, evaluate this integral using parametric form that is f dot ds when it will be converted into parameter, it gets converted into integration over C f1 dx by dt plus f2 dy by dt plus f3 dy by dt and the integration of this integrand will be taken with respect to t. So we have solved one example using the parametric form. That's how we have learned how to find out the line integral of a vector valued function. For more details, please refer to the book from S. Chan Publishing. Details are given on this side and link is given in the description box. Please do like, share and subscribe the video. Press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.